now and in your family. And I, I feel like there's a strong sense of the word cancer. I hear the word cancer. There's people being delivered from cancer today. Oh, grant it, that's Lord. Been, grant that's it, been Lord. praying, and Lord, how long? And appreciating Hallelujah. pain. But cancer has got to dissolve you, at the name of Jesus. Amen. And, I, you know, we have so many prayer requests that are coming in. I want you to continue to call. See, the lines are jamming right now. And i also like for you to pray for my sister-in-law who had emergency surgery yesterday and uh, a partial hysterectomy and she's I don't know if she's able to watch right now but her name's her name is Trisha. Name's Trisha. Trisha. So if you'd pray for her as well yes. as so many others and that are share calling. share the in. other testimony. Rose told me about what was it that the, the car crash and this um, I guess the guardrail yes, went through yes, the car yes. and through the person. Tell us about that real quickly. Uh, this young man uh, named Bobby Hill in Alabama had hit a guardrail and it went up through hit the floorboard into his midsection, cut his leg off, put his leg up on his shoulder, oh went up, lacerated goodness. his liver, his, uh, his stomach area. Um, and of course, when the guard, when the truck sat down, the guardrail pulled out and pulled his intestines out in his lap. 16 uh, years of age and oh when I went when I found out about him he'd been there 117 days and I went in to lay hands on him and they were they were planning his funeral that day. None of the family were born again. And his father actually wanted to curse me out because I was there wanting to pray and believe God because they wouldn't say. And I kept witnessing to him. I said, look, just give me five seconds. I'll go and lay hands on him. I'll be out. God's going to raise him up. I drove a 120-mile round trip. God's going to raise him up. Yes. And uh, so finally the mother said, what's going to hurt? You know, you know, keep planning. We'll go up. I went up and I prayed for him. And the Lord said, speak to him in sign language. And I didn't know sign language. I just knew love maybe. So I said, Bobby Jesus loves you and he raised his hand straight up. Now he's in a brain dead coma. He swelled up so much he'd burst open. He didn't have no clothes on, a surgical cloth over. His mother pulled it back and his intestines sticking out of his stomach. Uh, his eardrums had ruptured. He was swelled up big as a barrel and it was death. I mean the stink of death and they uh, immediately raised his hands. His mother screamed. Nurse ran in. I gave her a card. I said I'm getting out of here before they try to give me credit or to blame me one. And she called me 25 days later and she said Bobby's out of the hospital. Hospital. The hospital called the news media. She said, uh, all of the family now are born again. And she said, I don't know if wow. you believe in this, but some of us are even speaking in foreign languages. Wow. wow. Hallelujah. Well, I want to encourage you to get this book, Raised from the Dead, a true account. You can go, uh, go to uh, rickmadison.org. You can go to amazon.com. You want to get uh, Richard to come and to speak or yes. tell your pastor about him. Get this book, and it'll be a great blessing. Yes. And continue to call today. I sense yes. the anointing of God. Yes. Listen, God spared Richard Madison for a purpose. God raised him up. And there's a healing anointing upon his life. Richard, are there some other prophetic things that the Lord is showing you that are yet to come? Well, I believe, as I mentioned earlier, about the Middle East War. There's about to be another Middle East War that I believe we're going to watch on television, uh, and we'll see it. Israel will win. Uh, I know that there's going to be some disasters that's going to happen here in America. But, it, you know, when disaster hits, whether it be uh, terrorist attacks or economic, it causes people to seek God. Yes. And uh, I believe that we're right on the verge of another tremendous uh, transition and a movement of, of God as far as revival to break out, to cause the fathers to return to the sons and the daughters to the mothers and so forth. And uh, I believe that we're right on the verge of some major breakthroughs. Just pray and also yes. pray for my sister-in-law, Tricia. Tricia. Father, we send the word right now to Tricia. Lord, we, we thank you, Lord, for just completely restoring her. We thank you for giving her back. Lord, life, we thank you for restoring, doing a quick work. We thank you, Lord, right now. You're touching every one of these prayer requests. Yes, we send the word God. right thank now, you, Lord. Lord. Lord, we thank you that we have authority over sickness and disease. We thank you, Lord, that there's a tremendous move going across these Lord, airways for salvation power. and Release healing. Lord, deliverance healing touch, right now Lord. today, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Lord, you took stripes across your back for our healing. We receive it. Lord, we send the word. Arise and be made whole in thank the you, name. Name of Mighty Jesus. God. Mighty God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank, Thank, you, Lord. Lord Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for prayer requests being answered, Lord. Thank you for being a mighty, mighty God. Thank you for answering prayer, Lord. Your ears open to the cry of the righteous. Your arms not too short to reach down. And we give you praise, Lord, for every one of these prayer requests, Lord, that are being answered today in the mighty name of Jesus. All right, and Hallelujah. so you'll, uh, Wednesday and Thursday night, you'll be Hurst. at Word of Love Christian Center right there in Hearst on Precinct Line with Pastor Ronnie Moore. God bless you. We love you today. Keep calling if you need prayer, even as we leave the air. In Jesus' name, amen.
the fastest growing faith-based network in the world would like to say thank you for 10 remarkable years of faith-based television. Daystar. Experience it.